Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at the Poisson distribution using Minitab when we're solving for a value that's greater than another value. Twinkle Toes is the manufacturer um, and seller of strings of LED Christmas lights. And their quality department has determined that on average for every 50 feet of lights that they produce, six of the LED bulbs will be faulty. In other words, they won't light up. They've also determined that the failures follow a Poisson distribution. What is the probability then that a 50-foot strand of lights is randomly selected and more than 12 bulbs are found to be faulty? This looks like us solving for the probability that X is greater than 12. So we're going to use the cumulative probability density function in Minitab and our mean, also known as lambda, is still 6 and we're going to use an input constant of 12. So before we get started, let's think about this for a minute. Right, so if we think about our um, possible successes on a line, where zero successes is obviously the fewest we can have, up to some infinite amount of successes, we have this target here of 12. And we wanted to know the probability of getting more than 12. So that means we're looking for really from 13 up to here. And what we know is that the cumulative distribution function in Minitab solves from 12 down to 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve for this probability and we're going to subtract it from 1 because we know that the sum of the probabilities of all potential outcomes has to equal 1 and so we know that this probability plus what we're looking for which is actually 13 to infinity has to equal 1. We're going to let Minitab solve for this one, subtract from 1 and it's going to give us what we want. So I'm going to go back up to Calc, I'm going to go to my probability distribution and we want the cumulative function and we're just going to put in our single value and that single value is going to be 12. Our distribution is Poisson. Our mean was 6. And so we're going to say OK. Minitab calculates that probability as 0.991173. So now what we're going to do is we're simply going to subtract that answer from 1. So when I take 1 minus this point 991173 I'm going to end up with 0 0.008827 and so by finding the probability of what we didn't want which was from 12 down we were able to find the probability that X is greater than 12 so remember, anytime that you're solving for greater than or greater than or equal to using this cumulative distribution function in Minitab, you're going to have to solve for what you don't want and then subtract from 1 in order to isolate the probability of what you're looking for. As always, I hope that you found this information useful and thanks so much for watching.